Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fan Appreciation Month here on Reaction and Review. Tonight, guys, we continue the countdown to episode 300 by taking a look at the movie that came in second place. With 337 votes, it is a horror film from 2005 from infamous director Uwe Boll. That movie is Alone in the Dark. Now, uh... I'd like to say right now, before I go into this, I do know that Alone in the Dark is based on a series of video games. I can also tell you I've never played a single one of those games in my life. I've seen footage from most of them. I've seen gameplay from most of them. But I myself have never sat down and played any of the games in in the franchise. So I don't know anything about the franchise, really. I know, I, I know nothing about the story or any of that. Uh, and I also know that that's probably going to work, work in my favor because... This movie apparently only took the name of the main character, which was Edward Carnby, and that's all that they took from the video games. Well, that and the title. Apparently, it has nothing to do with any of the games in the series, so, frankly, so, like I said, it'll probably be better off that I not know a thing about, about the video game series going in. I also can tell you that I do remember seeing, uh, seeing ads for this when it was in theaters back in 2005, but I couldn't tell you a single fucking detail about those ads. Uh, <laughs> they were that fucking for, you know, gettable. So I have no idea what the fuck I am I am getting into. The only thing I know is that it's from director Uwe Boll, and he normally makes for absolute trash. I, I also know, though, that I watched Postal, which was also directed by him, and I thought that Postal was halfway decent. It wasn't great, but it was certainly watchable. Uh, so this thing could also fall into that category. In no way am I expecting this thing to be good. Uh, I am literally, I am literally hoping for you know watchable, and uh, even then, guys, my 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 hopes are a little bit low low on that. But the only way I'm going to find out if this thing is is watchable is if I shut up and I push play, and I'm going to do that right now. So without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Alone in the Dark. Okay, guys, I have I have a tip for anyone who wants to do a fight scene in their movies. Doing most of it in slow-mo does not make the fight any better. In fact, honestly, it is making this fight scene slash chase scene ridiculously fucking boring. Because about 90% of it has been in slow motion, and it just makes a boring fight scene worse. Just wanted to let you guys know. Good God, this movie is boring. No, guys, honest to honest to God, I'm struggling to stay the fuck awake through this thing. This movie is that fucking dull. I'm hoping for it to get better. I really am. But right now, I'm kind of having my doubts. All right, guys, the movie's almost half is almost half over, and I have a question. When the fuck is anything interesting going to happen in this fucking movie? Honest to God, guys, I'm waiting for a reason to give a shit about this movie. And so far, I haven't been given a thing. I mean, we honestly, guys, are right now in the, in the middle of a sex scene, and even this is fucking boring as shit. I want something interesting to happen in this movie. I am, I, I honestly, guys, am, I guys have given up on this thing even, even being remotely good. All I want is a reason to give to give to give a shit about what's going on on screen. That's all I'm asking for at, at this point. So let me see if I've got this straight. So the Xenos, these creatures that we've been seeing throughout throughout the film, have some kind of a weakness to gold. But now they're but now they are saying that all these creatures are inside of an abandoned gold mine. Okay? Why? Why the fuck would these creatures hide in a mine that 
at one that at one time had tons of gold, probably still has a little bit of gold left in it, wouldn't that weaken them a little bit? Why the hell would you go anywhere where there is the where there's the distinct possibility that you would be at a strategic disadvantage? It doesn't make a lick of fucking sense. But then again, nothing else in this fucking movie has made has made any sense or has been interesting, so why the fuck should I expect it to start being good now? Why the hell won't this piece of shit just end? I swear, guys, this thing this thing has gotten so boring, it, it has gotten to the point of being torturous to watch. I just want the fucking movie to end. That's all I fucking want, want right now. I've got a little over ten minutes, minutes left. I fear that these ten minutes are going to be fucking hellish. Well, guys, that was Alone in the Dark. Last shot of the movie. Totally rips off the closing shot of the original Evil Fucking Dead. Which is beyond insulting. No, shut the fuck up. You are not going to feed me 90 minutes of bullshit score and then hit in with something sounding halfway decent. Fuck you. Okay. God, that was fucking hellish. Guys... That was actively a fucking chore to get through. I, 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 I want you guys to know that right now. That was a goddamned... That guy's was... Guys, to sit through this thing is a fucking Herculean feat, okay? I'm gonna tell you that right now. It is a fucking task to sit through this thing from start to finish and not stop it. To not get up and walk the fuck away. I fought every urge to just shut this piece of garbage off and walk away. But no, I finished it. I finished it and I feel that my soul has been scarred as a fucking result. Now let's talk about the movie. I'm going to start with the writing. The story was shit. There are so many like logic holes in this goddamn thing that you that you could fucking drive a semi through them. The holes are that goddamn large. Nothing here makes a lick of fucking sense. Our characters have no real fucking motivation at all. Plot now plot points which are supposed to be huge huge twists are telegraphed in the opening 30 fucking seconds and if you don't pick up on that, then you must be a dim son of a bitch. And of course, because you are probably a dim son of a bitch, that is why Tara Reed's character even exists. She is there for no other reason than to explain exactly what's going on on, on screen, apparently for blind people who want to watch this movie. None of these characters have, have, have any level of depth or personality to fucking speak of. Just, guys, there is not a single fucking positive I can say when it comes to writing. This is... By far, one of the worst video game movies I have ever seen. Mind you, I am able to sit through the Mario Brothers movie, I'm able to sit through Street Fighter, I'm able to sit through both Mortal Kombat movies. Have no problems at all. This thing is unfucking watchable It's that fucking bad. And it's... And Guys, and I have just touched on writing. I ha and that and that is just the tip of the bullshit iceberg that is Alone in the Dark. Let's talk about the acting. Well, because the characters are lifeless and hollow and shallow, of course, nobody had anything to really work with. However, I could almost tell that even that, that even established talented actors such as Christian Slater and Steven Dorff went out of their fucking way to suck in this thing. Because those two, I know, could could work, you know, wonders if you if you handed them a shitty script. So the very fact that neither of them even tried in this thing should should sort of tell you how bad the writing was. And of course, um and of course everybody else uh, really really didn't didn't fucking try, but the worst out of all of them has to be Tara fucking Reed. I guys have never claimed that Tara Reed is a fucking actress. 
At this point, I am now barely able to call her human, because her fucking performance here did not seem like that of a person who had, who had lived on Earth their, their entire life. It really seemed almost like the fucking performance of a friggin' alien who landed here recently and is just now starting to pick up what it means to, to move, sound, and act kind of human. She turns in such a fucking alien showing that it just... It stands out, guys. This is a fucking woman who should never be anywhere near a film set. Never. She cannot act. She never will be able to act. Top it off, she also isn't nearly as sexy as this movie is trying to play her up, you know, to be. It's like, there's just problems abound when it comes to Tara Reid's casting. And mind you, the caster is a fucking archaeologist. I know for a fact, guys, that Tara, that Tara fucking Reid is a dumb dumb motherfucker. To cast her as a fucking archaeologist is laughable at best. You, you, guys, the only thing which would be a worse casting choice would be casting Paris Hilton as a nuclear physicist, okay? It just doesn't fucking work. But yeah, guys, the acting in this thing from top to bottom is garbage. Nobody turned in a decent showing. Nobody even fucking tried. But then again, considering the fact that the writer didn't even didn't even try to give us a halfway decent story, I guess that's kind of par for the course. <sighs> Special effects. This movie was made in 2005. By that time, we were already at least two-thirds into the Star Wars prequel trilogy. We had already had men in fucking black. We had, ha we had, we had at that time, plenty of examples to show that CG works and works incredibly well. Uh, this thing has CG which is so bad it makes the bullshit done by the fucking Asylum look good. This... This movie has CG which, which would have looked shitty in 1995, much less 2005. It's that bad. And mind you guys, this whole fucking thing is predicated on C is predicated on CG because every single monster, the big threat in the film is all shown through CG. When the fact that when the fact that that as well as as well as about 99 per 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 fucking cent of the blood and uh, let's see and every single instance of fire and explosions are all done with CG, really poor, really shitty CG, you know that you know that we have a problem here. There is something absolutely abhorrently bad about this fucking about about the fucking special effects in this movie. And guys, even the practical effects look like shit. There is one character we see at one point, we just kind of sort of find them, and their head is split open. As in basically like right here the head is like got maybe it has maybe like a two inch gap and the whole head is split open like that and if you were to put that in the hands of even a competent special effects person it would have looked really cool here it looked like shit so yeah they honestly couldn't even do practical effects well good god the soundtrack um the soundtrack is a dull boring tedious score which is going to be ultimately for fucking gettable uh except for the song I heard during the closing credits there, that actually sounded sounded pretty good. And during one gunfight, uh, I could not fully tell if it was a song by Rob Zombie or a song by White Zombie, but it sounded like one of the two. In fact, it kind of leans a bit more towards a Rob Zombie song than, than it does a than, than, than it does a White Zombie song. I can just tell you that the that the fucking vocalist sounded a lot like Rob Zombie, so that's how I'm able to narrow it down. Um, but also, even then, it isn't even a good song by Rob fucking Zombie. It's like, guys, the music here is just terrible. Minus, again, those two instances, and even one of them isn't that good. Uh, good lord. Lighting. Well, because the movie is called Alone in the Dark, I was certainly expecting the film to be incredibly dark. And it is. And it is dark to a fucking fault. Uh, because you can barely tell what in the fuck is going on in a whole lot of these shots, especially when they get into the when they when they get into the abandoned gold mine, which um, you basically then just have characters being lit by flashlight, and it looks terrible. It looks really fucking amateurish. No, I I guys can't even say that because I have covered 
I have covered amateurish movies in this series. I covered Weasel's, I covered Weasel's Rip My Flesh, which was made by a 16-year-old with a $300 budget, and even he had better fucking lighting than this goddamn thing did. So, yeah, even fucking lighting fails on this thing. Camera work is, camera work's probably the one and only saving grace in this goddamn thing, because the camera work is halfway competent. Um, however, the very fact that I have to dip fucking down into camera work being halfway decent to even cull a single genuine positive out of, out of this thing is fucking pathetic. Guys, am I able to recommend Alone in the Dark? Fuck no, I cannot. This thing is the worst video game movie I've ever seen. And the person who sent it in, who I'm going to talk about in just a sec, sent me two other films by this piece of shit. And I dread it. I fucking, I fucking fear about how bad those other two movies are going to be. Oh my good God. Okay. Yeah, guys, I cannot recommend this movie. It sucks. It is terrible on every conceivable level. If you ever get fucking roped into watching this, run away as fast as possible. You do not want to suffer. This thing, this thing is a chore to get through, and I would be fucking surprised if you actually would make it to see the closing credits. Now, because this is Fan Appreciation Month, Alone in the Dark came in off the wish list. The person who sent it in was Kari. And uh, you can check out Kari's, Kari's Let's Play channel by going to the link which is in this video's D Des description. Please, guys, swing over there. Check it out, Kari. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I've always been curious if uh, this thing was any good, because I've heard horrible things. Almost all of it, like, whittles, like, whittled, like, down to Tara Reed's acting sucks and Uwe Ball sucks as a fucking director. Nobody ever actually gave reasons that sounded like genuine criticisms about the film itself. And, um... I wondered how bad, how, how bad it could possibly be, and well, ah, it's bad. It's really fucking bad, and Kari, I wouldn't have known if you hadn't have sent it in, so thank you. Um, good God, I actually feel almost like I'm going to have to just burn that, burn that fucking thing. Anyway, guys, uh... Once more, guys, you can you can check out Kari's new Let's Play channel by clicking on by clicking on the link which is in this video's de description. Swing over there, guys, check it out. And uh, as for me, <sighs> good fucking god, I'm I'm gonna go find something in my Blu-ray collection. Maybe I'll just fucking like marathon a couple of these Saw films or something. I need I need to watch something decent after sitting through this horrific fucking dreck. Anyway, guys, uh, with that, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.